I was convinced that we had to be very modest uh, in our mandate uh, because we had very different interests uh, in our board. I mean, our board was 20 people, you know, one third hard-nosed business people, uh, some of them oil people from Houston, Texas and so on. Uh, we had uh, governments, uh, some of them very enlightened, um, some of them pretty tough uh, and I would say corrupt governments uh, producing and consuming government uh, countries. And, uh, and then we had civil society, uh, which was mainly coordinated by this Publish What You Pay um, coalition, which had been formed. So for me, it was quite important to um, pursue a relatively narrow mandate, uh, which uh, some people criticized, because we looked only at the, uh, the flow of funds. Uh, we did not dare to say anything about the fairness of particular investment agreements, the adequacy of the flow of funds, um, the um, uh, question of whether a particular mining venture uh, served only the interests of the investor or only the people or only the kleptocrats in a country. So we didn't form any opinions about this. We only said in that country, in that year, so much money was paid uh, to, the, uh, to the government. And that in itself became so important that uh, a lot of interesting other issues uh, were discussed in that context. So some of the companies, for instance, were extremely um, grateful for having the possibility of uh, dialoguing with civil society, also local people who were affected by the mines, because we organized uh, these multi-stakeholder uh, conversations. And, uh, and I must say, uh, I was very happy that we managed to put in place this relatively technocratic, relatively um, modest, a uh, piece of work.